Hey you guys! Thanks for joining me on another journey. Today we're in Mitchell, South Dakota. We're about to go check out the Corn Palace, which is a crazy building that's been around since the 1800s. They redo it every single year. The artwork is all made out of corn. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. We just made it to the Corn Palace. They actually redo the outside of this building every single year with different uh, corns and farming material. Oh, look at Alvin, it's your brother. <laughs> it's the viewer's brother. <laughs> right? Look at you, you're a corn husker. The caption's gonna be when you only make corny jokes. <laughs> Get out of my shot, Amy. Get out of my shot. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you just following me with the cameras? It's kind of intimidating. You guys are farmers now. My yeah. ambulance is more comfortable than this. <laughs> There's a lot of buttons. That way you can uh, pick the corn. on the outside of the corn palace and look at this I found some corny Asians <laughs> <Got corn. laughs> Alvin went and bought some souvenirs from the corn palace oh yes corn hats yes it very makes you good. look very Asian <laughs> thank you Wayne <laughs> Corny Asians. Corny Asians. All right, guys, if you get out here to Mitchell, South Dakota, find you some corny Asians and uh, come check out the Corn Palace. Hey, guys, we're in the middle of nowhere, kind of, but right here we found the Mitchell Prehistoric Indian Village. We're going to visit it and see what there is, but since we're out in the woods, it's a little cold. Need our corn hats. <laughs> He's gonna wreck. <laughs> As you can see, I'm riding with some teenagers that are driving like crazy people. We flew into Chicago, picked up this 1997 Honda Accord for a dollar and we're gonna drive it back to Salt Lake City if we make it this is a close-up view of our beautiful chariot that Alvin paid a dollar for one dollar one dollar oh when you want an umbrella mmm no I'm gonna wait till I go to Korea again and buy one every single day. <laughs> And buy one for $100. Hey, mom there was a luxury umbrella in she Japan. My mom thought it was, uh, what, $10? <laughs> and then we did the damn conversion. It was like $110. Oh, I like, know your dad was bad. <laughs> it was a damn nice umbrella. I was like, damn, it's only $10. <laughs> What's your name? Joseph. All right, Joseph. He's going to be our tour guide for today. Where are we at? We are at the Mitchell Prehistoric Indian Village, Mitchell, South Dakota. Awesome, thank you so much. What are we looking at here, Mitchell? All right, so we have a reconstructed lodge here, right? Uh, before I actually start with the tour, though, I would like to just thank you uh, because contractually I am obligated to clean when there are no tourists here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't clean, <laughs> but legally you saved me from doing it. <laughs> I like it. So thank you. <laughs> oh, look at my hat hair. That is great. Oh, that is, is hot hair. Oh my. That's corn head. <laughs> so the, uh, the lodge here, right? These people who lived in this lodge would have been the ancestors 
of the Mandan people. And they can were we go into it? Or no? Yeah, yeah, we can go into it. Let's see what is in here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, this is much better to talk in here about this. Since we can see the lodge. Just, uh, what, mud and sticks. All right, tell us about the lodge. This is pretty cool. All right, so, um, first of all, it seems pretty comfy. Like, uh, for us here, it seems pretty spacious, right? Well, you, you're wrong. You'd be wrong. There'd be about 20 people in each one of these houses. It would be all of your extended family, so every currently living member of your family would live in each one of these lodges. And uh, there were a lot of beds on the outside walls. There would have been beds here, too, but we need to walk here, so we didn't put those there. All the adults would sleep here, right, in the beds. And then the kids would sleep on the floor, so you two would be on the floor. And, um, you know, you would get hides like these probably are those real buffalo hides they are yes we actually had them specially made for us here we, we didn't go out and kill the bison or anything but when one died they're mostly from custer and from wind cave national park so when they die they take the hides and they prepare them and send them to us. Oh, good. Now we don't have any PETA people coming after us. That's good. Yes. See, that's that's what we like. Uh, we do have this one over here that you can feel if you've never felt bison fur before. It's very... It's very coarse, actually. It's, it's very uh, warm. Warm and fuzzy. Yeah, I imagine it uh, keeps you warm in the wintertime. It does. Demonstration of spear throwing flowers. So these are, uh, what are these? These are ancient what? Atlatls. It's spelled A T L A T L. You can pronounce it atlatl or atlatl if you like to say the ridiculous way. <laughs> so these are what they would have used to hunt the bison with. They uh, would have been made. This is river cane. You know what river cane is? No, but it kind of like, looks like sugar or regular. It's like American bamboo. Yeah, I was going to say bamboo. It's got a lot of the same properties, and for all intents and purposes, might as well be bamboo. Okay. So that's what this one's made out of. And then turkey feathers, or part of turkey feathers up here. Okay. So, to use one of these, you got to hold the handle properly, right? So when you hold it, you got to make a finger gun. It's like this. Okay. And then there's a toothy thing at the top, right up here. Is that the official name, toothy thing? Quote me on it, yeah. Okay. Toothy thing. So you have the toothy thing, you make a finger gun, you put the toothy thing into a notch that is at the tip right here, okay. just like this. And then you put it on top of your three fingers here, and then you hold it in place like this. So now you have got an atlatl that you are ready to throw. Now all you gotta do is just hate the fauna, want to kill the fauna, it's a, it's a very important part, the psychological hatred of the fauna, you've got to channel it. And then when you throw it, you just push it forward with this, and hopefully you hit something. Okay, let's see you do it. That was close, hopefully that was close. We're gonna starve tonight. I'll starve. I'm ready. Already win. No, not even close. <laughs> Yo, why are you so close? You cheating. <laughs> I hit Bambi. You slapped Bambi. Bambi does not appreciate being slapped. You watch her, I'll shoot you from back here. Let's see it. The camera's the camera's recording. <laughs> <laughs> That was actually Dude, pretty good. I'm, I'm getting good with this. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? Right. All right, go kill Bambi. <laughs> okay, I got this down now. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna take out Big Bambi. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> Big Bambi got the moves. Went right between the legs. If she wouldn't have ran so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I knocked an answer! <laughs> you broke it! The crap, Alvin, why'd you break it? This is now my crown. You here to claim your prize? I have claimed Bambi's horns. Oh my goodness. Die! <laughs> 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 you are so stupid. I killed Bambi! <laughs> Alright. Put, put them back together and let's go. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you would, share it with a friend. Hit that like button. And like always, thank you for living life.